Hey, it's Trevor with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Outlander soft topper on our 2023 Jeep Gladiator. Now the great thing about this soft topper is it's going to be a much more affordable option compared to a hard top. It is also a little bit more customizable and if you want to put something bigger in the bed of your truck, this folds forward and stores away against the cab. The fabric on this soft topper also is going to be vinyl coated to keep it weather resistant as well as it's going to have a durable aluminum frame underneath to help with highway speeds. Now to get it into that fold position, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off both these panels on either side of the truck. And all that you have to do is pull this hook and loop off, unzip it, and as you see we already have it most of the way off. Now we just have to unzip this piece here and then take the hook and loop off the back. So this rear panel does unzip off on the top, just like those two side panels do. But say you need to get to the back for something real quick, you can just reach into the corners here, pull out on both sides, then roll it up, grab your two hook straps, pull them, put them on, put them on there tight, and then you have access to your bed without taking that whole panel off. And say you just need to reach in here, grab something quick while you're camping, or if you just got done with a long bike ride and you just wanna hop back here and rest for a minute, let that breeze in there. Like I said before, if you do have larger loads that you're looking to carry, this does fold up if you don't wanna take it off. And let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is loosen up this wing nut. Once you have that loosened up, you'll wanna pull this locking pin here to allow this support arm to pivot. Now this is on here pretty tight. So when you do that, you wanna kinda of like rotate the support arm back and then you can click that back into place and strap it up here to hold it in when you're traveling. Now with that other side loose, we're gonna go ahead and get the plastic tabs on this fabric here slid out. So the easiest way to do that is just slide this back. Kinda of have to work it back and forth a little bit, but once it gets far enough, it'll just come off Oh, like I said, you're going to slide this back and easy thing I like to do is kind of like pull on it a little bit outwards to try and get it to loosen up because it is a little finicky. It's on there pretty, pretty tight. So but once you got that removed, go ahead and do that to the other side and then we'll be ready to fold it back. You're just going to grab it by the top and slowly push it back. And I would also make sure that in between these support bars, you tuck the fabric down in so it doesn't catch and start to kind of make a mess on you. Also kind of bind up too if you leave that fabric up, so. Now once you have it folded up, I recommend you just take this panel here and you kind of tuck it down. And then you're gonna go behind this rear support bar, grab this strap, pull it around the side, and latch it down. Now towards the cab side, you're gonna have another one of these hooks like you did on the tailgate side. Just reach up under there, grab that, slide that through that loop, and then cinch it down. Now as a beginner installation, if you have the tracks on your vehicle, you're gonna wanna remove the rearmost accessory if you plan on keeping, if you plan on putting it back in later, because what we need to do is have access to slide a clamp up under here. And don't worry if you don't have the utility tracks on your vehicle, it does come with hardware to just clamp underneath these rails. Since we do have the tracks, we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this up. And if you have something similar like this at home on your rails, uh, whenever you get it loosened up, just pull on it a little bit. So it gives you a little bit more extra room to loosen up since it does have knobs on the inside. And then once you got that loosened up enough, it'll just slide out the back here. Now just repeat that on the other side, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the cover up on the bed. Now I'd recommend getting an extra set of hands for this process. I got Sam here today to help me out with this. Uh, now all we're gonna do is lift this up and line it up with the bed rails on the truck. Now once you have that lined up, we can go ahead and get inside of the bed and put our clamps in to hold it down. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our clamps slid into place. Uh, since we have the tracks here, we're going to slide them along this track to get it into place. 
if you had just your standard bed rails, you would just find the spot closest to the cab and closest to the tailgate and clamp them on there. And then once you have that slid into place, you're just going to hold that down while you get it hand tight to the rail. We'll come back later and torque them all to spec. Since we are going to be installing the last clamp right in front of your access point to your track here, it would be a good idea now to go ahead and put any accessories you had back into place. Get those nice and snug. And then we'll go ahead and slide on the last clamp and get that hand tight as well. Now on the front, we went ahead and repeated what we did on the rear. And then we went ahead and checked the manual again, just to double check our torque specs on this. And now we're gonna go ahead and get it torqued down per what our manual said. And with all four of our clamps in place and torqued down, we're all set to hit the road. And that was a look at the Outlander soft topper on our 2023 Jeep Gladiator.